With the continue block and rise, you have a wonderful little tool for helping learners really absorb information step by step. Um, you limit their progress and give them an opportunity to interact with all the elements on the screen before they can click through to the next lesson. I wanted to show you what this actually looks and feels like. So let's preview a course that I've created on a very common compliance topic, which is avoiding a conflict of interest. So here is my start screen. And when I go into my first lesson, you'll see that there's nothing inhibiting me from reading through and clicking it through the next lesson. This is just an introduction talking about some key values um, of my fictional business. But as I go here into the second lesson, where we're actually defining the conflict of interest and getting into the nitty gritty of what a conflict of interest really is, then you'll see that I've got this little block down here that says review each example before moving on. So I can't just sort of click through and get the next lesson just by scrolling. I also have restricted navigation in my course because this is a compliance topic so that my learners can't skip ahead by using the menu either. But let's take a closer look at what this looks like for the continue block. So here I have um, my accordion block that I've inserted and you'll note that I need to click through each of these before my continue button becomes available. So now when I click continue, the continue button disappears and I can have access to the third lesson in my course. So that's the experience for learners. Um, it really is a nice way to kind of give them pause and prompt them to make sure that they've interacted with all of the blocks um, on the screen before they try and go on to the next lesson. So let's look at another example of the continue block and rise. Here I have a tabs interaction, so a tabs block. And what I've done is I've added content um, to each of these three tabs that relates to the actions of three of the characters in, in the scenario I've built. And what I want is to make sure that my learners review all the characters actions before they move on. So I would need to click through each of these three tabs hopefully read the information there. And then once I click on that third tab, I can click the continue button. Now watch what happens here. The continue block actually disappears now and I'm allowed to access the block beneath it, which is a series of knowledge check questions. So let's say I, as a learner, wanna skip all these pesky questions. Uh-oh, here's another block here. <laughs> and this one's prompting me to complete those follow-up questions before moving on. So again, this really allows you a finer level of control as the designer to make sure that um, folks actually um, go through the content, absorb it, complete the questions, have that moment of reflection before they um, proceed on to the next lesson, which is a quiz.